Go. Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain Tarin tonight along with... Hey you sir, Mike, the Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome back for our third stream of Dave the Diver. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, uh, Rom wanted to take a little break from LA Noir, so instead we're filling it in with, well, <laughs> this game instead. 
and yeah, things are things are getting started with everything. Now we can hire staff to help with the handling of the <clears throat> of the restaurants. Uh, we've got a we've got a very good amount of money to go and hire someone good, and probably upgrade yeah, our equipment. Remember to do that pamphlet thing. Yeah. We need an extra cook. Mm, let's upgrade the air uh, tank. That'll give us more time to swim around downstairs or in the water, and act as health in case we get hurt. So let's head on over. I'm, I'm pretty convinced that we'll get other destinations that we can uh, sail to eventually. But for now, it's just a bar. Now, let's see staff. Before anything else, we're hiring. Uh, let's see. Max four applicants from this an internet ads. Recruit staff at a higher level than current cook staff. Uh, okay, much higher level than current cook staff. Okay, but it also get they probably get very expensive. So let's go for a TV ads. <laughs> okay. Uh, and yeah, why does that look like a gun when she holds it like that? <laughs> Probably because she's just as lethal with it as one. <laughs> okay, let's see. We've got a lot that we can use of this. I think we'll. I think we're good on food for a good bit. So let's see. Let's add ten servings of that. Then let's see. Okay, we can do two of this. And. Of this, agar is pretty easy to get, and that should probably be good enough. But let's get a few other things. Um, that's not how do I sort by amount on this? Okay, uh, also in chat, there was a bot yeah, that joined in on chat before the stream, so I just gave them the boot. Um, Let's left and sort them by this. Okay, we can put a good amount of blue tank on here. Actually, we can enhance. Uh, yeah, 10 for to level 5. Uh, this one again. Yeah, they, they really went... <laughs> they really went up and over with the uh, animations on some of these, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna like it. Okay. Like it's just flashy enough. To and be actually then... enjoyable. Let's see. Anything else we have a good amount of? Actually, hey, those oh, we leave there, alone. Marco. Yep. Hey, Marco. Uh, did you ever get the voice in your head? <laughs> That's Drakir over there already. <laughs> I used to be in his head. And let's see. We we can put a... Let's see. How much does it not cost? Three. That's a big jump. Let's upgrade that, and let's put five of those on there. We're probably... this is probably way too much, but it is still a good amount. <laughs> uh, if you're going to move into my head, you are going to have to pay rent, Marco. <laughs> okay, nothing to research. I don't really want to mess with the interior much. Like we can we can spend a little bit on this later, after we basically, well, make enough money to be a bit wasteful. Yeah, hmm. and also I recommend to not move into Helion's head. I don't recommend also, it. Uh, yeah, we can rank up here. Uh, up there, needs to move down to it. Oh, hello. Uh, you are health inspection or something? I think you're right. Uh, there are ra uh, raiders. Raiders, not raiders. <laughs> the guy reminds me of that uh, that starter uh, prosecutor from the Ace Attorney series that you always face on your first time. It always gets his ass beat. Silver? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Stride Red Mullet, Tangle Roll, White Travali Kumbo uh, Okazuke, and Moray Il Curry. Okay. 
Wait, does that mean that we can go catch those stupid things now? Hmm. Okay, we got one more cooking slot and one more... Huh? Let's see, we need a bunch more followers for that. Oh! Okay, that's where we would see We're gonna be a rocket. Oh, yeah. I think you know what it means. It means we may... We can have extra personnel. Yep. Uh, let's see, it also opened up another slot on the menu here. But I think we have more than plenty as is. And more research, let's see. Three, six, and six. Okay, okay we could only do two of these. <clears throat> let's see, Marco, I only got ghost coins. Uh, it's <laughs> it's Mr. Payne, that's the first lawyer you oppose in every Ace Attorney, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think I probably should have bought uh, Dual Destinies on the 3DS store while it was still up, but I don't really have interest in playing Ace Attorney myself. Plus, I've seen playthroughs of pretty much every game, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's actually go with this one. And okay. let's... that one, I will admit, is a little bit flashy, says what he does with his finger. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Nothing much in here to see. A large cylindrical jellyfish shaped like a giant mushroom or bell. Has eight wrinkled tentacles. A favorite food of the world's largest sea turtle, the leatherback. Okay. And the fried egg jellyfish. Generally less than, than 17 centimeters wide, but can grow up to 40 centimeters in diameter. Uh, as its name suggests, they resemble a fried egg, the most common jellyfish in the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Uh, Ruth, I saw something on YouTube uh, a few minutes ago. Oh. Apparently, a uh, sea turtle had cracked and harmed its feet horribly, so they 3D printed it a titanium beak. <laughs> Okay, so, so metal it's beak, but it's a it's a turtle instead of a chicken. Yeah, oh, there's more. People did comments on it, and here's one of the comments. What then? At this moment, I realize the weakness of the flesh. It disgusted me. Uh, Mechanicus, we we really should yeah. go and stream that game sometime too, or at least do I a video it. series on it. The Mechanicus game, sure. I'm up for it. Then you can put the put the mechanicus helmet on my head. <laughs> yeah, actually, I should have put a diver's helmet on your head for this one. Actually, yeah. Oh well, next well, time. Last ball. <laughs> because we'll probably be streaming this game for a few more times at the very least. Yeah, mm. and it's worth it. it you know, uh, actually, it might be one of the more lengthy side quest games, but. I don't mind. Yeah. Let's just scroll through it quickly. What is this newest one here? Hm. Nice little jazzy tune. And the rent is how much you can pay, however much you can pay monthly, Marco. <laughs> okay. Oh, just a bird. Uh, one last thing think the chats. Yep. Check. Okay, we can add someone to the kitchen, but we need to be gold rank to be unlock another uh, cook. And we're definitely going to put someone there. Hopefully, we'll get two applicants, and then we can put one here. And we still have to learn about skill training. I'm guessing we can teach our servers how to serve the green tea and work the wasabi as well. Yeah. Okay. And stop. Oh, that's a bit low. Okay. Yoko will have to do it. Uh, at the beginning, yeah, focus on the green while she serves. Uh. Yeah. She's pretty speedy with that. Okay. Serve the furthest back. Oh, someone's getting impatient there. Uh, wait, why are, why are we not sir, making the agar? Oh, 
but now we oh yeah we definitely need some we need we need someone more in the kitchen sorry about that okay yeah we're going to lose some customers due to not being able to serve them The bat was already gone. Yeah, I can say this. Some people should probably. I think they should be able to see here that you're understaffed. Yeah. Okay. Be, Hopefully, we'll get medical. some good people. Okay. Yeah, we, we definitely need, need an extra cook, someone good. So, let's see. Marco, so seven ghost coins per month. Okay. First time it's raining. And here comes Mr. Bacon. Good morning. Sorry I couldn't come by yesterday because of the symphonium. Did you speak with Cobra? Oh, come to think of it, I got materials since Cobra said he was repairing a drone yesterday. Oh, a bit late, aren't I? <laughs> I repaired the drone just fine thanks to you. I got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for. Also... Oh, thank you, <laughs> Dr. Bacon. Will these do? Alright, let's head back to that rock pile. Oh, wait. I haven't finished starting today. The Cobra shop is officially open. Um, what is that? <laughs> Deliveries have stopped, but with the drone in working order, I can transport three types of items in a day. Talk to me and select the Cobra shop to see a list that changes every day. I'll also buy some stuff you don't need. Check out the sell tab as well. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling you'll charge high prices, but it's nice to be able to prepare. <laughs> I won't charge high prices just because I've got their only business here, so don't be afraid to visit often. Yeah, typically when people have a monopoly like that, they will overcharge because, well, high demand but low supply means high price. Because people have to fight over the, <laughs> the availability. I feel like you let your business tactics slip just now. <laughs> uh, in any case, it's time to head back to the rock pile where the signal from the sea people was detected. I actually expected him to police us for as much as he could. Let's see, you can buy auxiliary items and sell your items at the Cobra shop. The Cobra shop is only accessible in the morning and afternoon. Purchased items can only be used for one day, so keep them in mind. All right. Now, just in case there is something worth documenting inside. How about taking this other wonder camera with you? A camera? That's right, it will be important for research to record important data with photos. Take the camera and I'll let you know when I find the right place to use it. All right, always nice. Plus, with digital storage these days, you could make hundreds of photos. Okay. Let's shop. Hmm. Let's see. Extra air can. What is this? Oxygen at time... Okay, increases maximum oxygen capacity by 10%, and starting off with an underwater scooter. Okay. 10 seconds of battery use. Hmm, a bit low at the moment. Uh, let's see, we have... Uh, how did how did we get a double on, of these? Okay, let's get rid of one then. As well as this gold bar. 500! <laughs> yeah. That would be of use. Uh, let's see, there was something else to sell. Okay, a pearl. So we did find one. There... A silver bowl, 50. Holy, look at the money! <laughs> yeah, we've got a thousand now, so we can get a few upgrades. Uh, not only that. Here's the thing, Ilian. If we find a really good chef and uh, other stuff, we can buy them right away. Yeah. Okay. First off, though, let's check on these. We need, a, we need something to light our way to go deeper, so the diving suit upgrade has no use for us at the moment. But cargo box is always nice, since we... Okay, that is a big upgrade. 14 kilos of extra stuff. Yeah, definitely getting that. 
Holy, that was quite a jump. Yeah. Okay, and in we go. Hmm. Okay, I we just realized that rounds. I, I don't forget if uh, I forget if we uh, had the the tranquilizer pistol made yet. But oh well. Don't we have all the parts for it yet? We could upgrade this harpoon as well sometime, but for the moment it is good. Also, we haven't fought, we haven't fished these little guys in a bit. Because we're well, li they're literally small fry. Some rope. There's an ingredient pot fry? down there. I don't want to do some fries. There. We have a good amount of fish already, but... Uh. <coughs> Pardon? Mm. But it's you. always good to have a good stock going. Let's grab this. Wait, I don't remember. They're all fish fries. Thank you, Marco. Okay, so are we going to find a new gun? No, just a harpoon tip. Have we caught any of you yet? Us, the sea bream. Okay. There are so many fish pieces that it is impossible for me to keep track. I already have enough trouble trying to keep track of people in my freaking family. Are well, you telling me you are basically have an entire clan? Sort of. Maybe not to that extent, but still a, a good lot of people. I think we actually got the fish on the bounce there. Grab that. Yeah, one, one thing I specifically like about this game is that it gradually uh, progresses with things you can collect and such. It doesn't just dump everything on top of you immediately. Yeah, this is good. That. Oops, some more of our wanted Jeez. fish. Maybe it did, Marco. <laughs> yep. Just at reach. One thing I do sort of dislike is the firing angle that we have. It is a little bit limited. Right, it is still very wide, but if something is above or below us, it is really hard to get a... Yeah, we need to move, and we need to move quite a bit to actually be able to get them. Nope, not that I was aiming for, but I will. Don't think we have many of you. And there. I'm pretty sure the harpoon would absolutely destroy these little cardinal fish. Okay. So you don't have to. The harpoon! Hmm? Uh, I'm pretty sure they, the harpoon would basically splatter them. Uh, no, use it, harpoon. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we want some of these because there is a mission for getting rid of these. Drink. Okay. Oops. Orange starfish are also wanted. Oops. Come here, you taste little thing. Fish. Are you still fucking cute? But nowadays, I don't know if I'm freaky. Yeah, since they regenerate and all that. Well, no, not only like they reproduce with other starfish, but also they have an alternative way to reproduce. And that be oh, there's a shark. Rip off their own arms and toss it away. Ah, uh, yeah, and then that. become a new uh, starfish. Let's see, I don't think we've caught some of these. Oh, even Morgan knows it, and hello there, pizza lover! Yep, finally got it right. <laughs> hey, pizza, are you doing well? Uh, I couldn't lost right last time! Miss. 
Actually, let me get our view. There. Yep. yep. That failed. Okay. Okay, coral trout. So we did catch those before. Let's see. We also need to get rid of some uh, fr some fried egg jellyfish. Harlequin hinds. Okay. Let's open this up. Uh, yeah, I'm doing just well and struggling with homework. Let's see. Hush dart. Ah, oh, right. Uh, let's keep our gun at the, at the moment, since we don't know what is in that cave. I'd rather not go into a possible boss fight or anything with a... just a, yeah. <laughs> a little dart pistol. Hmm. Up there we go. And there are some jellyfish, but not the correct kind. I don't think he said you can move in. Well, I'll, I'll keep the shotgun one. Don't have much of this. Okay. They're full because there's currents here. Okay, anything in here? <laughs> Just a sensor bomb mine, okay. There. And here is the blockage. We're here. Trying placing one of the bombs Cobra gave you on that rock pile. Jay. Uh -oh. Just get the hell out after. Oop. All good. You know, it's sort of hard to see through the radio. We can't have you torn into a thousand pieces and become food for the sharks. That's a scary thing to say in such a casual voice. Also, I like how his goggles are down now and such, <laughs> now that he's underwater. <laughs> now, back away from the bomb for a bit. Yeah, good amount. Yeah, that should, that should not be enough. Here it goes. Yeah, we would need we would want to be even further away from that. Nice. Now the road is clear. There's a faint think, light coming from inside. Hmm? I think you would prefer to be out of the water when you do it. Yeah. Go on inside. Uh, what if there's a monster or something inside? That would be a, that would also be an amazing scientific discovery. Uh, this guy is science before logic all the way through. New region? Well, there's your answer. The only uh, other regions. Uh, <laughs> hello there, <laughs> buff tune. Wow, this place is... Wow. It appears to be some kind of sea people record chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There definitely was a sea people civilization in this region. Look at that mural, ba mural back there. No human could have painted that so deep underwater. Maybe these are from some ancient civilization that sank from seismic activity? A good point, but that style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Please first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll be able to find a variety of interesting clues. Okay. Uh, this can't be a natural pillar. There's even mysterious characters engraved in it. Okay. This mural seems to be of a warrior or king. It looks powerful. There seem to be scales on the lower body. Is this really a mural of the sea people? Let's see. Wow, well, is chat? Keeping half an eye. At the cost of our lives, <laughs> Poseidon. Yeah, more buff. Actually, I went with Neptune, but yeah, <laughs> buff Sidon also works. 
A painting of dolphins and marine plants. Apparently the sea people could draw, not only write. Good, that should be enough. I would like to research a little more, so please take a photo with the camera that I gave you. Let's see, take a picture of the mural. Do we have to equip it or something or... Okay, just go into here. Okay, camera. Let's see, a camera icon and that indicates that you can take pictures. Check your objective in the top left. Okay, use A to adjust the focus and remove your hand to take a picture. Make sure your timing matches the green indicators. Okay. A to focus. There. All right. Huh? I see something on the floor there. Oh, it might be another sea people artifact. Bring it to me. Okay, that was there earlier. Let's see. What is this? An artifact found in the record chamber. It's old and shabby, but there seems to be a mysterious energy about it. Oh. It's a sound from before. Hmm. A record chamber filled with sea people symbols? What could they have written? More importantly, didn't you hear something? What do you mean? I didn't hear anything over the radio. Come back up to the boat for now. Okay, Dave might be losing it a bit. But it's not being picked up by the radio? Apparently. Hmm. There's bubbles escaping from everywhere. So those pockets of air in the stone somewhere. Hmm. Okay, looks like we'll be able to find the little side chambers like this. Yep, oh, and one of those is here again. Oh, pufferfish. I'm here, you. One more. Yeah, this becomes easier the more they're weakened. Okay. Maybe only Dave could hear it? Could be, yeah. Now, let's continue fishing for a little bit more. There's an escape point for us. Not enough. No, sir. Next time, I'm have a stuff below if you cold and all that. Just by... Uh, spicy Doritos. There. Okay. These aren't the trigger fish that we can cook into that meal, but they'll still be good for a meal. Yep, miss. There we go. Yeah, it could, be, it could be that you need to hold the artifact or something to be able to hear them. Just using that to top off. Anything else around that is easy to pick up? But they ought to be heard when we held the artifacts. Yeah. Let's see, that's a big boy. As a weapon, going to grab that quickly. Oh, they're actually immune whilst they're puffed up like that. But not when this. Okay, come on. I want that crate for the blueprints. Yoink. Actually, I think we can ease this up ease this up a bit by just weakening you beforehand. There we go. One sort of back. It says I needed to turn around and fix my nose. Okay, that's a blueprint for the sniper rifle. Okay, this, this screen shake is a little bit much on that. I might look at lowering that. Okay. Wrong pizza lover. For a second, I thought... You, for a second, I thought... I like it, thought you... We're tasing the fish. No, no. 
for a second, I like it for you were lacing the fish. Long. That is, that's a, that's a tea. No, it is tasting. <laughs> okay, let's, we have another dive after this. So let's head on up. Oh, good thing we fled because the <laughs> big ass fish there. So can you turn the screen shake off? I'll look for that now. I wonder if the weather has any effect on the fish. Hmm, I see people are Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'll have to analyze this artifact and the mural further at my lab. Be in touch soon. Oh, uh, he hello. <laughs> hey, hey, you there. John Watson. I heard an explosion in the sea. How do, do you know what's going on? Oh, about that, um... We are Sea Blue. We are an organization that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and reports them. I sometimes carry out justice myself for those that commit particularly evil deeds. Yeah, right. I've heard reports of someone who has been engaging in mindless destruction of the environment in these parts. I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware of this. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. And me, John Watson. I, I get the feeling he's... I get the feeling they're a reference to uh, those anti-whalers or so, maybe? Now then, be ever grateful to the sea and never lose your love for it. I'll be leaving for now. You don't have to use the bullhorn for this, jackass. We're watching you. Let's see, I just hear the name John Watson, the sidekick kind of... <laughs> no, not that one. What a creepy dude. Will we be okay? See, Blue? That group is infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. It's mostly the large corporation with big fishing businesses. And not the small fisheries that harm their environment most. They say nothing to the corporations, however. Okay, that sounds like they're just... That sounds like they're just a group of higher thugs under a pretext. I expect oh, they're taking dear. bribes or something unsavory like that, yeah. That guy looked like bad news. It won't do you any good to be on their radar. Be careful. Okay, that's another blueprint completed. Good amount of fish caught. Alright. Uh, let's see. We can get a new weapon. No, oh, not enough materials. We need more iron ore. We haven't found that, I think. We found copper and uh, lead ore, but no iron ore. Okay. Let's see. That guy looked like he isn't bulletproof. And yeah, we have a gun. Wait. Hmm? You can make the hush gun. <laughs> the dart him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Bird shots like this you know, are the trend now. You can yeah, make I, I, the hush gun. Don't shoot okay. him with it. You can eat well and still lose weight. Uh, we got a silver oh, trophy. I... We've been recognized. Okay, someone actually who knew how to make him photo made that. All right, let's see. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this this is probably someone's profile picture somewhere. <laughs> let's see. We need we need something with really good taste to hit the next mark and a bunch of followers. And it won't show. Yep. Fuck off, update dri driver updater. It's the pop up there on my computer. Uh, let's see. Let's save on that for the moment. And yeah, can be crafted. Can be crafted. Do we have one of these already available to us or something? Where do we even actually look for the weapons we start with? Let's see. This is our yeah, we have the triple axle, we have the underwater rifle, but we don't have Yeah, we need to make the hush pistol. 
We'll be good for collecting meat from big fish. Actually, we should probably do that. Is this... Yeah, this is going to be that again. So let's just skip that. <laughs> yeah, let's equip that. Maybe we can use some of these to up make upgraded versions or something later. And yeah, this one... Uh, controller. There we go. Game got unselected for some reason. This one and this one are going to be useful for getting more of it ish. This one probably from the big ones, this one from the smaller ones. Okay. And with that, uh, let's go down and see what more we can find. Let's see. I, oh, I forgot to check the... I forgot the eco-watcher uh, thing. Oh well. Oh dear. Miss, thank you for visiting. Is the app icon duff with cat ears? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Okay, oop, nope, not grabbing that. Starfish, we need a few more of those. Angry fish. Let's see, let's see if we can find iron ore somewhere. So, let's leave the fish alone for... A, oh, actually, can we get to you now? Hmm. hmm. How are we supposed? Are we supposed to get you whilst you're lunging? Eel, you can't eat them. I'm pretty sure you can't eat murray eels. Now we have a recipe with murray eel flesh or meat. Oh, oh maybe you can then. Yeah, we just need to lure them out somehow. I think. We have a unique name uh, for murray eel in Sweden. Uh, we don't have what we need to get big fish up to the surface yet, so we can leave those alone. Okay. I overlooked you, but you just completely missed. One, two, three. Yeah, we're just going to gather as much as we can at this point. Uh, let's see. Damn it, isn't Patrick? What? Uh, we'll technically mark if Anna if Anna streams today, you might see Patrick. Might also see him get circumcised again, but yeah, uh, okay. The heck are you two up to? Um very concerned. Can and we... don't do that to Patrick. This means you end up having two Patrick. There we go. Get in my pockets. You as well. Okay, have we fished you yet? I don't think so. There. You're a tough little fish. I can hear you. Oh, oh. Right. I think you're talking about one of those uh, horror fan games of SpongeBob. Uh, I, vibration. Wait. Okay, that's that's vibration on my controller. Let me lower that down to 25. Maybe it'll lower the screen shake as well. Hmm. Fully. Miss. Wait. How many games have I played that show screen shake for tutorial, but never mm. again? Dusky Grouper, we have catched that before, caught that before, and yet yeah, I didn't change the screen shake, sadly. I'll need to see if I can edit, I can change that somewhere else. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, it is a new game, so maybe something to add uh, in our patch. I'm pretty sure we haven't caught a squid yet, so... Mm. 
Yeah. Oh, cuddlefish. Okay. Let's yeah, like cuddles. See. Some of these. Oh, little clown puts up a fight. Clown frogfish. That we need to see that you tell Otis to throw a clown clown uh, no clown frogfish if they've never seen it before and see what the heck they draw. I think I saw a video where people they, they were told the Swedish name of some birds and they got the, the Swedish name translated word for word and were to draw from that. Okay, this is a new little mini game for these. Let's see. Okay. Spanish mackerel, we caught those before as well. Uh, let's see, I'll watch the stream tonight if she doesn't stream today. Okay. Uh, can I find some iron ore somewhere? There's an escape point for us. There was something else there, hidden behind everything. Okay. Oh, sorry, Marco. We found Nemo before and cooked him. <laughs> yeah, we found plenty of Nemos. Let's see. That just goes back around. Oxygen not really needed at the moment. Anything new in here? A uh, weaker harpoon tip. Some woods. This thing again. And the big ass shark again. Freaking cuttlefish. Tiger shark. Okay, let's uh, try and keep our distance from Mr. Grumpy. I gotta to look up Tiger Shark for. When I was a kid, we I had a shark book. They were saying that they were the tank sharks and butter sharks were known man eaters. Is this but iron or lead? Question if that is true or not. Lead. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of sharks have a bad reputation. Yeah, and when you make books for kids. Yeah, and it was. Yeah, this book was. Yeah, written in the 90s. Mm. Yeah, too dark. Let me grab this. Okay, we need a few oh more starfish for that. Oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. We found a flask. What, what do you say? Yeah, we're, we found a flask. Oh, Probably okay. just something we can sell again. Uh, any pearls say, here? I thought you said Esther's flask, I just went... <laughs> Wait, what? No, this, this isn't Dark Souls. Yeah, what is finger that? Yep, escape point. Okay. This is probably lead again, so I'm leaving it be. Some soy sauce. Anything around here? Some ammo, some kelp. That thing, get more lead ore, which is weighing us down like, well, lead. Let's see. Probably more lead on this. This is the same car. Oh no, that's, that is iron ore. Okay. So lead and iron ore look very similar. Um, that kind of makes sense. Okay. Like if you look at them from far away, you could be mistaken for one or the other. But if you were to hold iron and lead in your hand, you would definitely notice the weight difference, and you will also see that they look a bit different. Like, lead is a bit more soft and almost 
Yeah, it, it looks rather bumpy. Okay. Uh, let's try and get a few of these fish, and then we'll call it a dive. Oh, yes, around by that. One of my brothers once made a lead cross. Okay. Bear. As a class assignment, and that thing was heavy. It wasn't the same. Yeah, since he was a kid, maybe you can guess how big the damn thing was. Plenty, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's grab was, the ammo. He was strictly forbidden, I think, from throwing it. Let's see, pizza. I used to have a baby tiger shark. Four or six of them, actually. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, how did did you did you do some of that uh, adoption stuff which that some aquariums have or something? Wait. Uh, ain't those damn thing native to Africa? Yep. Something I missed here. Uh, I'm guessing a zoo thing, probably. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sharks kill four humans a year, while cows kill eight humans a year, and we kill 100 million sharks a year and 293 million cows a year. I, I'm pretty sure that shark number is wrong, because I'm pretty sure we'd be out of sharks by then. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, applicants, a <laughs> raptor, pie, and Davina. Uh, wait, see. wait, wait, look at the raptor stats. <laughs> raptor is extremely good at serving and has high appeal. Uh, okay. Well, we, we will have a raptor then for yeah, raptor the serving and pie. Line. Okay. Uh, no. Do you have anyone that's good too? Uh, we've seen this already. Okay. Uh, anything on the phone here? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Catches seven fish at the same time. Why was there in oh a new here? We don't have. Oh right, we can now make this one. Let's see. Yeah, it's that one again. Okay, uh, I'm guessing we can upgrade weapons by making doubles of them or something. Uh, let's see, how is this? Okay, we have a good amount of shells to deliver in. Uh, we didn't actually see what that thing was. <laughs> Eco poison resist bracelets. Wait, are, are these equipables or something? Maybe? Let's see. Yep, yeah, charms. <laughs> okay, a health bracelet with the Eco Watcher logo. Made of environmentally friendly materials, reduces damage by 10. Definitely taking that, yeah. Health? He meant health? Hmm. Yeah, Eco Health. What? What did I say? You said hell? <laughs> uh, let's see. Pizza, now nah, the ones <laughs> I got uh, did not have adoption thing. It's true, I did research. Okay. No. Let's head over and hire some people. Yeah, the raptor is easy to hire for serving. Oh, hello. The question is, who is good for cooking? V VIP, Vincent the Gourmet. Hello, viewers. Hello. It's UA from the TV show Star the Chef. Uh -oh. Today I've come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the rage in Cooksta, Bancho Sushi. In this sushi bar that's famous for its exotic sushi, we have with us the legendary sushi expert Vincent Yamaoko. Uh, Yamaoka? Hmm. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Vincent Yamaoka. Hello Vincent, how would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. There's only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs, up, hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen. How good the ingredients are, how well they were, how they were stored and aged, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked, and how it was molded. All those things matter in the art of sushi. Yes. What? What is that sound? 
Hey. I think that's her voice, and she she sounds like Isabel from <laughs> Animal Crossing. Oh, tell me, she sounds like a hungry belly. Uh, let's, okay, it seems that one of the, the stream disc, uh, yeah, one of this, <laughs> one of the chat's uh, commands is broken apparently. Oh, it's like I'm pretty sure I copied that over completely, so that should have worked. Uh, let's see, uh, chats. Uh, well, I'd suppose the only thing we'd kill shark for is their teeth and their skin and maybe to eat sharks. I guess there are not that many countries that eat shark meat, so the number is a little lower. Okay. Um, that's the reason we don't eat shark meat. Heavy amount of mercury. Don't yeah. let pregnant women eat it. Let's see. I see. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Banjo Sushi is famous for? Oh, no. The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The tuna uh, fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Uh, below that, the olive flounder and amberjack, which red and white, uh, white and red meats, all verified ingredients, you understand? To dare to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that exist from the Edo era, regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. Alright. You have once criticized California rolls for not being real sushi. We're curious to see what your opinion on Bancho sushi will be. Now then, let's start by... Hmm? Sounds like a traditionalist. Yeah. Let's see. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. It's the owner, Bancho. Um, this is a bit sudden. I'm called Ban... He's quite reticent. That can only mean he speaks through his cooking. The sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole, and the chef sure gives up the, vi off the vibes of master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, which food will we be trying? Hmm. I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. You there, Bancha, was it? Your name? Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise me. Well, Vincent offers a daring provocation. He left a menu for the chef to decide. I can't just sit by and listen to your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. A standout between a traditional gourmet and an exotic chef. Things are getting real interesting. No, 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 miss. Traditionalist. Uh, we'll come at you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to star the chef. All right. Hmm. Bunch is going to ask us to find something, of course. What are you thinking? What are you going to do? Man does not run from a challenge. I thought of something. Will you get me the ingredients? I need some sea grapes and white spotted jellyfish. Ooh. They can both be harvested in the limestone cave above 100 meters down in the depths. By the way, you'll need to capture the white spotted jellyfish alive. You need a tranquilizer gun or a net gun. Hmm, you're going to make sushi with those? Okay, limestone cave, right? I'll go look for them. We have sea grapes, but we don't have that. Yeah, let's, let's hire people before we forget. Oh, for love of. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's see, sharks contain mercury. What did Rikita say? Yeah, uh, let's see. Marco, I like shark meat, it's yummy. I don't know if I ever told y'all, but I have owned 35 pets. Uh, okay, how? Uh, oh, I see. I saw this one pizza there. What did... Okay, pizza boy, here's the thing. Sharks is one of the f uh, fish with the largest amount of mercury. It's kind of why people don't cook them. The bigger they are, the worse the mercury amount is. And yeah, the bigger the shark, the more unhealthy the meat is. And apparently Marco is having Wi-Fi issues again. Okay, let's see. Sometimes a VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Procure the ingredients by the designated date. Okay. Oh, uh, we actually get it already. All right. Now, first off, staff. Uh, let's see. Someone oh, for the kitchen. Mercury uh, oh, wait, is right. dangerous. However, if you eat it... If you eat now and then, it's not dangerous, but if you eat... Mercury regularly, especially in high doses, Ooh, damn. it will become a health problem. Especially okay, we, for pregnant women. We can't hire Raptor, because he's oh, too expensive. Uh, 
Do I? No, 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 Hilan. You were, you were able to do it earlier, but what did you do? Okay, I spend it all the upgrades. Let's see. We can at least get Pi as a cook. Yeah, we need so, a cook. Let's hire them. Okay. There, there. And let's oh, see. I, I don't know why it's not dangerous for the sharks. Though it might be for the uh, for us, uh, no, do, I would suggest we look up some YouTube videos uh, from some experts that know this better than me. I don't know is don't eat sharks. Just don't. Let's the reason yeah. we don't eat most predators is not healthy. Upgrade this again. I'm going to let a few of these go just because they are just good and not as silly as uh, <laughs> the gun ones. Actually, ooh, that is a lot, but we still have a good amount left. Okay, let's go with six of these on the table. Um, five servings of this. Mm, let's, ooh, um, we want to use this more for the other dish. Let's see. Seasoned Kajime. Let's put a few servings of this on the table. And then some simpler ones. Upgrade that. And then put five of those on there. I think some of these dishes take longer to cook, maybe. And yeah, uh, let's see, we can research this one. Actually, something I just realized, the, <clears throat> uh, similar to the uh, idea just now, or the explanation, explanation right now, that <clears throat> sushi may be simple, but not easy, could it be applied to pixel graphics like this as well? Like, it is easy to make pixel graphics, or it is simple to make pixel graphics, but it is not easy to make good pixel graphics and pixel so animations and such. Oh, yeah. And... Uh Kind of why I kind of like, I still like pixel games and such. But I prefer it when it's very well done. Or at least yeah. I have enough done to the piece like they say. Spark was metaphorical soul, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We need seven pink shells for this. Again. Kill three more lionfish and uh, you know, two more lionfish and three fried egg jellyfish. Hmm. And just some orange starfish as well. But that's for two. I, is there a way to pin these perhaps? That would be nice. Yeah, that, that would be nice for another up uh, for another patch. And there's some other app here that is still locked. Curious. Hmm. Yeah, for now. Um, we will hire, I, I'm thinking we'll hire Davina tomorrow and then save up to hire Raptor because he is just really freaking good at serving. Yeah, I, I, wait, the pro I think he might be one of something like a rare chance or something. Could be. For now, let's open up. Oh, there we go. For a moment, for nowhere where to come. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm cutting it a bit. I'm going a bit too early on those. And there. Okay, anyone else? No. Okay, serve the back ones first. Oh, clean up. Not run out of stamina. 
Oop, gotta keep an eye on the wasabi. Okay. Got miss here on the way back. Oop, a little bit over. Oop, clean up. Okay, here, here, and the last one. Okay, this is a very good day, I don't think. Look what you got. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, we might be... If, if we get some lucky finds, we might be able to afford a raptor. Uh, what is wasabi? Wasabi is uh, a, a condiment that is added with a lot of sushi. It, it's that green, very hot stuff. Yeah, green hot. Very hot. Let's see. Yeah, we made 600 from that. If we can repeat that, we can hire a uh, raptor uh, today after tomorrow. I think I could go first one. See, it was something like a green sriracha. Uh, no. uh, mermaid hippies or hippie mermaids? What? <laughs> You first thought when you saw them was hippies? Hippies. Yeah. I swear, I feel like the more longer we've been streaming, the worse we get in speaking. And sriracha is a, is a hot sauce pizza. We don't have these kinds of things over here. All right. Uh, let's see. Hey. Hmm. 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 Dave. Yes, Dr. Bacon? Dave? Yes? Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? The good news? <laughs> You're the positive type. I studied the bracelet you brought me yesterday. It was from the sea people, as I expected. Wow, so it's an ancient relic? The bracelet seems to be imbued with a mysterious power. Here, you can wear this. What? Me? I mean, I'm grateful, but why? Who knows, there might be some frightening sea people curse on it. Yeah. Well, in any case, try it on first. Okay, it needs to be cleaned. Oh, there we go. A bracelet, yeah, bracelet shaped sea people artifact. Has a mysterious energy that aids breathing. Survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing useful. this... I'm guessing this is where we would get uh, told about charms. Wow, I feel some kind of new power inside me. Glad to hear nothing bad happened. You'll be able to check your diver box for any more information about the charm you're wearing. Oh, and I have some more great news. I've analyzed the artifacts and the investigation data. I was able to find a very strong signal in the ocean depths. This was the right place. The objects didn't just float over here. I have a feeling the giant blue hole that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit to a sea people site. A very lucky opportunity. Yeah. That just sounds like I have to risk my life again. Yeah. So, what's the bad news? Yeah. Well, in order to venture deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. Yeah. Deliveries have stopped right now for some reason, so getting one is out of the question. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that Kraken has been, well, cracking down on imports. Yeah, and hence why Cobra started to use the drone. <laughs> Maybe Duff will have one. He has all sorts of things. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Try contacting Duff first, will you? Yeah, we haven't really been calling people. Okay. Duff's pink delivery? What? You can equip charms and swap them out in the inventory. Charms of various effects that will help you out in the game. So don't forget to try them out if you find them. All right, figure that out a bit early. I, I like that they give you the tutorial on it, but it don't lock it off. Luckily enough. No. Anything new here? The sweet and sour gets your appetite going. To think something this amazing lay underneath the sea. Shocking. This calls for some <laughs> calls for more sushi. Uh, let's see, how close are we? Okay, we need a good amount of followers still. That's probably going to take a bit more. 
And for taste, we just need to upgrade some of our recipes. And now, Duff. Ah. Why are you so angry, Duff? I ordered a limited edition Last Chance... Uh, Leia's Charm figurine. But it hasn't come for over a week, would you believe it? I got a serial number and a limited edition only art book. Bro, oh, come down a bit. Everyone seems upset with the deliveries having stopped. I think there must have been some sort of, you know, some kind of accident. To see what's going on, I will need the deep sea headlamp. Oh? Well, of course I have one of those in my safe storage. But I can't give it to you for free. There's a condition. I think I know what's coming. Please find my Leia's <laughs> John figurine. It's in a pink delivery box. You'll know it when you see it. I requested special care for the package, so it should not have been washed away. If the ship carrying it sank, it's likely to be somewhere nearby. Find it for me and I'll give you the deep sea hat lamp. Uh, I'll have to first find the location of the sunken transport ship. We've seen it a good few times. Yeah, I misread that. Oh? I mean, there's a some hotel pink pizza delivery box. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Fried egg jellyfish, lionfish, just a bunch of shells and starfish as well. And agar. And I'm not gonna blame pizza lover. Let's see, anything what useful you I? have for us today? Underwater cargo box. It can be installed underwater. Acquired items can be stored inside, and stored items will automatically be treated upon leaving the water. Okay, for only 40 coins, we'll take that. 10 kilos of extra stuff is always nice, and we can always... We, can, we find plenty of oxygen bottles down below, so there's no need to buy those. Yeah. And we... Well, yeah, we have two runs before we go to the shop, so... Yeah, let, let, let's try to get as much, well, things we can sell. Yeah. Okay, we haven't seen any of you in a bit. Not the clownfish. You. No, we can't harvest that. There. There. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go gathering up. We can probably find the ship if we go looking down. Let's see. Anything useful in here? Oh, the net gun. Okay. And I see a perfect little group for those. If I were to sure equip it, that is. Who? I think many Japanese restaurants across the world, even in Japan, still experiment with sushi. Would not be too surprising. So... Him being a very traditionalist doesn't make sense. The mist? And... Again... Traditionalism in food doesn't make sense to begin with. Yeah, uh, let's see. Can we get... Oh, we're out of ammo with that. Okay. Let's swap back then. Okay, let's see. The jellyfish are, appear more... generally appear deeper and more to the right. So, let's go look for them there. Oh, can I fight? I respect people doing traditional way than uh, doing cooking and such. That is respectable. Just not go when they go into a full traditional list, you know. Like it that it has to be traditional get... way and they just demonize everything that's not traditional. That I'm not okay with. Yeah, the only way that those recipes even started in the first place was by people experimenting with foods. Exactly. Come here, you. You are tasty. So basically, respect the old whales. I misspoke that badly. <laughs> uh, respect the old ways, but don't be afraid to try something new. Yeah. Uh, and even if you grow, even if you don't like how something tastes, well, you now know what not to do and try something else. 
uh, okay, as if it's only asking what a traditionalist is. Uh, how would you phrase what a traditionalist is, Ilian? Uh, someone who refuses to try anything new. And he almost tried to grab that. Yeah, it's basically that. Like, if they have a very old set of laws or traditions, they will refuse to change. Even, they will even refuse to change, even when it's actually a actually an outright a danger for them. Can we stun these? Yes, we can. Okay, whilst that is working its way through its systems. Uh, I'll use up one of these. No wrong button there. Yep. Let's quickly grab that before it wakes up. Some more of you. Come here, you. There we go. Uh, yes, this arrow. That's basically it. Except. When, you, when someone is a traditionalist, it's usually a bit more harmful. Let's see if we can use that. Grab these and then move on. We still need to find some more starfish, some shells. Oop. I have no interest in you. I don't think I've caught you before. Okay, we have. Let's see. I like, guess you can see, the tradition is like it's good to respect tradition, but the, the tradition should not end up holding you back so much that it actually becomes a problem. Yeah. Let's like, that's see. That's basically uh, issues with traditionalists. Yeah, this thing is won't give up. <laughs> okay, if you're going to be like that. Uh, oh yeah, I guess you could also say they could also be easily offended. Ooh. Come here, you lots. There. These make a good dish, so we'll definitely try and grab these. Okay, jellyfish, but not the right. Caught, oh, <laughs> Captain. We caught a 300 fish, apparently. Even if this is just to scare it off. Oh, oh, that also works. Okay. Triple axle. This is mm, I'll stay with this one. He, is doing homework. And yet we are giving him lessons here <laughs> for questions he's asking us. Let's see. Some more shells. What do we have here? Another one of these, so we can use up the old one. There. Oh, shark. We might go after a shark at some point. Uh, we already have one of those. Let's see. I... I just realized something. I would not be surprised if they do, but I kind of hope they don't do. Who? No. Whale shark. <laughs> that would be quite the big boy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's forbidden from hunting them as well. Uh, we've caught some of you. Uh, all right, history. I would say traditionalists, the traditionalists have sort of thing with the history. Sort of in a vague sense. Yeah, more in the fact that uh, they tend to be more regressionalists, as in they want things to go back to the quote unquote good old days, without mentioning that those good old days typically came with a lot less uh, human rights for a lot less people. Yeah, or just risk of um, people dying in some uh, one way or another. It, it, it comes in many forms. Yeah. 
Let's see. Not going to grab that yet. It seems that we haven't gotten a, a limestone cave this time. There's that saw thing again. Because he said that the limestone caves appear above 100 meters. So unless it's on the left side... And I see that the iron is a little bit lighter than the lead. Okay, and that's just down to the depths any further than this. Hmm. Okay. Making good progress with what we're gathering, at the absolute least. And we can go at least 10 over, since we have the box with us. There's another flask. I think we got the same level spawn, or level seed, as last time. On the level... I can't... I'll still go with the pistol for now. Or some big fish, maybe, or bigger fish. Any pearls? Okay, oxygen is still good all the same. Um, what if we stun you? You should be for make for a good amount of food. Uh, let's see from okay, Marco. I learned some of the things you ask in history class. See, they learn from it's a lot of. Uh, the good old days of the chapter I am on is awful and not good. It's the French Revolution. Nor do I think the people alive at that time are still alive. Uh, that happened quite long ago. Yeah, the, the thing with people who want to go back to sad good old times are, t are always people who have never lived through sad times, so they actually don't know how shit things were back then. Uh, not always. Some did. Just they didn't realize how bad it was, or they were on this side. They did not have it bad. I yeah. get cost of others. <laughs> like again, traditionalists come in many forms. There to stun you for a sec. Okay, we're going overweight now, so we'll use the box. Near you. Okay. I'll set this thing up. Let's see. All the heavy stuff can go in first. Let's see. Six kilos. Then we can stuff in four more. Uh, nope. Let's see. We have a bunch of light stuff. So we could technically put in a hell of a lot. Oh, or we can just put in a bunch of these. There we go. Okay, yeah. We'll grab, we'll get that up later. For now, let's continue looking for either the stone, the limestone cave, or for the delivery boat. And there's the delivery boat. And there's the tiger shark. Timmy, and Timmy's hungry. Yeah, I very much doubt that our little trank gun will work on him. Up oh, there it is. There, my precious Lechan. <laughs> Bring it to me quick. Finish your mission. Oop. Uh. Okay. Uh, what was that just now, my <laughs> Lechan? She disappeared into the unfathomable depths. It seems to have been some kind of giant life form. Please go and retrieve her. Wait, that obviously looks dangerous. Besides, the doors on this ship are all locked, so I can't go inside. You really think I didn't think of that before concocting Lay's chance rescue plan? I'll provide you with my secret weapon, the gas cutter. Even at this moment, Lay's Chan awaits her master. Come to the boat, will you? This guy is incorrigible. 
Oh, oh that's... Yeah, what's it? Ooh, that was close. Li yeah, life form behind us. And also, yeah. I think some Dutch accent slipped through you there. Might have. There's a plan. <laughs> Is there a plan? Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is just written the same in Dutch, but it's just said differently. Plan. I planned. Wait, say it again. Plan. Plan. Yeah. Yeah, that, we have the same word, but it's also the word we have for airplanes. Let's see. Uh, things like traditionally we learn in our life skill classes. All right. Yeah, that, that also makes sense to learn from them. Says that it, they do sometimes come up in a little more light-hearted way when it comes to cooking and such. It's nothing hidden in the coral. Okay, let's grab a few more fish and then head out. I'm up there, I'm looking for these big things. There. This will probably put us over the weight, since I believe these are six kilos. But there shouldn't be too many... Yep, there shouldn't be too many risky things nearby anymore. It's a bit more damage. Okay. Also, I like how, the, again, the octopus had to feel around for stuff, instead of just seeming to instantly know where something was. Yeah, I always found that weird that sometimes tentacle monsters seem to always have invisible eyes on the tentacles, hmm. if you get what I mean. Yeah. And like, the pizza is almost done. Okay. Well done. Some more ammo. Hmm. I haven't seen a tentacle monster that made sense, like uh, Deep Rising. No, so that, no. That thing... It had mouths on the end of his tentacles, and I think it was it that it uh, oozes and prey through vibration and sound. I think it, that, so it was. I, I think it was less uh, like a, a. I think those tentacles were the creatures themselves in that. Oh. Wait, you have seen the movie, right? I've seen parts of it. The, the I, first I time I saw it, I saw it from the start, and, well, the toilet scene uh, had me go, nope. Uh, I have seen the movie, and it's one creature. Okay. Hmm. Basically, it, it, it has a main head, and they all connected to that head. All right. I might have been misremembering things then, or I might be thinking of the wrong movie, actually. No, no, you you think right, right, but there was a toilet scene where someone got um. Yeah, just pulled through the toilet like a. a... <laughs> yeah, a robot. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's rather famous in reviews. People mentioning it that. Yeah, it it's definitely a good shock value. Oh, okay, so we can't carry anything more now. Okay, so th yeah. this is to avoid people from just overstuffing themselves at a safe spot. Yeah, also, fun fact, it was meant to be the first movie in a trilogy. All right. For the land on an island with a giant monster, to, and the island was supposed to be Skull Island, except they <laughs> never got the around to make a sequel. Okay. Uh, let's see, Marco, I remember him saying something that involved my country like give me 100 croatians and i'll conquer the world and that they trapped him on it's like three islands and no one of them called was called saint helen yeah bonaparte napoleon or napoleon the first to be exact uh yeah he was a very boastful guy but he was also very good uh let's see uh there is a youtube channel i forget H history simplify oh, his History oversimplified, I believe. They did a they did a good video or two videos on Napoleon in teaching a history in a, a comical way or semi-comical way. <laughs> I, I actually would recommend puppet history. Let's see. I'm still having trouble calming down, just like Lady Chan did when she first came face to face with Fenrir. Mm -hmm. Since you found the location, I'll reward you for it. I like to uh, do honest dealings. Okay. Now then, let's begin the Lace Chan rescue mission. 
Take this gas cutter. You'll see a spot that, uh, that can be cut into when you reach the ship. There will be a button prompt. Cut the weak point in the iron door and you'll be able to enter the ship. Just retrieve the pink delivery box as Leishan from inside the ship. Should be simpler than you'd think. But I saw a huge tentacle taking the ship. It looks extremely dangerous. You mean to say that it's okay for Leishan to expire in the darkness down there? The mission must not be delayed for a moment longer. Uh, Alright, I get it. Oh well, I'll try going down there. <laughs> I think we're going to have our first face-to-face -face meeting, and we can now get the net gun. Finally! That, that, that actually should make it a lot of things easier for... The hush gun only shoots one thing at a time. Yeah, net gun. The hush gun is meant for the semi, for the medium-sized fish, so we can collect them, uh, or big fish when we get the ability to bring those to the surface. <clears throat> but yeah, the net gun will be good for catching sm uh, groups of small fish. Uh, let's let's see. see. Also, was made fun of a lot of of uh, his height for some reason. The thing is, he was actually average height for the time. Yeah. Yeah, so he, people mocking his height are, they all stay, yeah, hmm. it, it, it's a bad, it's a joke that's got gotten out of control. Yeah, uh, let's see, anything we can turn into the eco-watchers? Why do you, hmm, why did it, something, oh, right, because this one can be crafted now, uh, let's do that. I guess you say the, the height yoke is a yoke based on people not knowing what the average height of that time was. This is a yoke yeah. they made without knowing the context. At least not at the full context. Let's see. We still need to get rid of one of each of these. And if we can get some agar, we can get that turned in and get the new rewards. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know it was average for the time. Yeah, people have gotten a lot longer in the last few centuries. Like I should have Dutch. Yeah, if you see like uh, the if you there's a few show ships in the uh, in the harbors around here in the Netherlands, and if you go inside of those, you'll see that people used to be like five feet on average. So in the last two centuries, the average. Oh, there's another locked app here. In the last few centuries, people have shot up like a foot uh, and a half or something. On the global average, that is. Yeah. Like, really? Some younger friends I had also they grew over two meters. Let's see. I think I... Th hmm. I'm not sure why. what exactly needs to be done for these... You know, for these cars to level up like this. I'm guessing we need to catch a certain amount of them. It looks like we've been missing one of these. Or a, a few of these in the shallows. I would not be surprised. Mm -hmm. Also, do we... Are we able to sell enough to Ford Raptor? No. So that'll have to wait for the next day. Let's see... A bomb trap activated by a trigger causes a powerful explosion when the trigger is pressed, dealing damage to targets within range. Okay, so I, a remote control bomb. I don't think we want to use that. Yeah. I have a feeling someone would react. <laughs> Definitely. Though we could always get another one and prepare that for when their boat comes around. <laughs> we can just say they had a horrible fishing accident. <laughs> With what, an explosive of a fish? Yep. Huh? You hear loud noises from over there. I should go check things out. Over where? Oh, oh here we go again. Hey, why do you keep bothering these dolphins? So you're the one who keeps in interrupting our plans. I can tell just by your silhouette. Wait, wait, you need wait. to be taught a lesson. You better be ready. Hmm? Look at that tattoo. Wait. No, that's a different tattoo, I think. I think this... 
Okay. They are Oof. pirates. Yeah. Oof, I was just trying to scare them. Oh well, I have to see if I can defeat them. Uh. I don't think this will work on them, so let's just quickly grab this here, whatever it is. Yep. <laughs> let's teach it. Yeah, but okay, we need to deal with them apparently. Give these headshot with that. Okay, three more rounds. Can we get rid of one of you, like, at least? There we go. Oh, he's still alive. So he's moving, at least. Okay. Oh. That's two. There we go. New on the sea friend. Completed the dolphin's request. <laughs> We're retreating for the day. You'll hear from us again. It's way too familiar. <laughs> Skedaddle. I wouldn't not be surprised if Sue Blue might be involved with them. Okay. You and your kid just or kids or Aww. girlfriend or whatever. See another gift? Maybe it's another gold bar? If that is the case, if that is the case, then we can hire Raptor. Nope. Rusty dolphin necklace. It right. left something like an old charm. I should identify it later. Oh well. That could be used in another way. Maybe swim speed up or something? Oops, I'll take that. Yeah. Are we and... going to grab your net gun again? Yeah. And good night, Marco. Sleep well, Marco. Okay. Let's focus on our mission first. And we'll see what we find along the way. I, I like that it pops up uh, like that. I like that that pops up whenever we grab something that is needed for something. But I would like it if we could mark something, if we could uh, put a tab on something or a pin on something so we can keep track of it as we are in the water. Miss me. Yeah, oh. uh, sorry, what, what did you say? I accidentally interrupted you. Ow. There, I have no interest in you, so let me just grab these. Uh, yeah, it would be nice if we could pin and put a pin in something, in some uh, tasks to keep track of them. Not too many, since that would just clutter up the, the visuals. But still, something would be nice to be... Yeah. But kind of surprised they added to begin with to... Ooh. It could be the first game. Uh, let's see, take a moment and dump this thing out since it's four kilos for just one meat. And that doesn't meet up my expectations of uh, weight to <laughs> usefulness. Okay. Yeah, it is a really small net, so they really have to be close together to be caught. But it is the first non-lethal thing, after all. Oh wait. Oh damn it, I realized I had another sound effect we probably would have been better to use here. Yeah, okay. I will use it now just to rectify it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are you are you sitting correctly, Pizza? Are you not hunched over or anything? Because that helps a lot with back with back aches. I have less back problems thanks to my new chair, since it actually feels comfortable to lean back on it. Let's see. Okay, I also have another habit. Like if I've been sitting a lot by the computer and go to my bed to watch YouTube, so I use my TV for that. 
barely rest on my belly and against that uh, you know support that pillow support thingy so yeah. for a short moment i actually are stretching my back in another direction to fix myself for a short there's, moment only there's bruce again this must be the door let's try using the right. gas cutter from duff i forgot that you called him bruce oh. turn on the cutter and use the left stick to move keep your movements inside the circle Okay, little mini game. Good, speeding up. Good. Good. Almost went out. There we go. Perfect little cuts. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was in too much of a hurry to properly tell you how to use it, but you figured it out. Going through the door, uh, through the open door now. I wouldn't call the ceiling a door, but oh well. Nice, John. Your master is coming. This guy is really... You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter. Okay, I hope that the sniper is enough to deal with this. Huh? The space below seems larger than expected. Take a look around, Dave. Okay, oxygen, ammo. Up. And Something with more ammo in here? Is it more written something I can't read at the moment? To uh, do the pixelation? Uh, I'm a procrastinator, but can do a lot of work in one sitting. Well, I had some homework given by our teacher once, and I let it all get collected and did it the night before we had to submit it. Uh, I completed work of two chapters that was 100 questions that I had to do. Uh, yeah, that that is uh, <laughs> that is not the best way to go around about it, but it is still uh, a good ability. Just try to set a, some sort of way mar uh, mark waypoints before you need to turn it in and try to turn that in something in by then. Is that a crowbar or something stuck in there? Maybe? Um, oh, nice. Also, we've got two of these now. Two scooters. A normal one and a long distance one. Those will probably be useful for dodging whatever we'll be fighting here. Does it? Oh, that's the other half of the boat. Hey. Uh, there it is, the pink delivery box with Liz Chun inside. Ooh. Wait, more importantly, look at that giant squid. So that's our culprit. I guess it knows a good thing when it sees it, even if it is just a squid. Oh, come on. It seems to be asleep. Sneak up and bring it back quickly. Uh, I've come too far to go back empty-handed. I guess I'll try approaching quietly. This a is here. This is totally not going to work. First, he kidnaps a mermaid and he kidnaps an anime figurine. Anime girl figurine. You think you get the yokes and. Ugh, it's awake, I need to get back. Dave, don't tell me you're going to chicken out. Use the gun I gave you, the harpoon will be of no use. Uh, here we come. Wait. Ow! Oh! You have a gun. Okay, okay. Okay, that's... Ooh. I will to say, with what? The net gun? No, I see that you have something else to shoot it with. Yeah, we have the triple gun. Oh, I didn't see the second one there. Okay. Yep. Okay, we... We need to get close, and then fire on its eye, I presume? Oop. Yeah, I think so too. Oop. Also, people, you don't want to get grabbed by its squid tentacles, so it's not that big for... Yeah, we've it's seen what they can cup. squeeze. Oh, oh, that's not the only problem. Each suction cup has a barb. 
Yeah. I can rotate the entire circle without problem. And uh, okay. people who haven't gotten grabbed by squid uh, lost their squids. Not the giant ones, but larger ones. Have shown that they can uh, mess up your leg with a lot of cuts just for hugging it. Yeah, and we need to shoot the eye. There we go. Ow. And yeah, that makes sense. It is quick and it has a big brain. Now, can I just hide him down here? Ow, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. That was an open shot for me. Okay, there, I think I saw an oxygen tank or something below or further away. It's probably somewhat one in here. Come on, quickly. No, not... Well, I'll take it. There. Give me that. Okay. No. That, yeah, okay, the range on this thing is way too short for this. to need to tank a hit to get close enough. Yeah, the game probably should not give a short-range weapon like this in this boss fight. There, is that enough? That must be it, yeah. Oh, uh, hello. Were those sea poop builders now? Huh? What do you mean? All I can see is the pink delivery box. Bring it back quickly. It's a waiting rescue. Telling him won't do any good. I'll have to go up and tell Dr. Bacon. Can they only be heard and seen through water? Hmm. The box is pinned under the tentacle squid, or a squid tentacle. I'll have to cut it away. I wonder if it's edible. I should try taking it to Poncho. <laughs> Okay, he can probably make something out of this. Okay, there's supposed to be a figurine inside, but I'm not really all that curious. Yes, that's the one. Come back up to the boat. I'm so relieved. Well, it would be rude to open it under the water. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, Lace John, Lace John. You're <laughs> way too into this dude. To think she has been damaged. Oh, there's salt water everywhere. I'll clean you because up. She hasn't been damaged. <laughs> Oops, I said last John's uh, line by accident, so I'm the master. Um, in any case, a promise is a promise. Here you go, the deep sea headlamp. It's a recent model that turns on automatically as necessary. I'll go help Lace John recover. <laughs> Goodbye, eternity. Uh, oh, we got a good amount of resource up. Oh, actually, I think we should have enough to get Raptor. And the other one. Phew, I guess that's over now. Come to think of it, I did bring this. What do I do with this giant squid tentacle? It smells so awful. I'm not sure it can be used to cook with. I'll have to give Bonch a call. Let's see. And our charm. Let's 
see. Necklace received after helping out the dolphin couple. Okay, so they are a couple. Increased dash speed by 30%. Okay. Nice, but not too nice since it costs us extra oxygen. Let's see. You can wear the dolphin necklace to move faster. Keep in mind that oxygen will be used up faster. Oh, wait. Can we put on different charms and the necklace? Uh, let's have a look. You can have two charms at the same time. Yeah, but okay. Uh, let's leave that be. And let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, BRB. It could be that they only are visible to the people they want or something. Uh, I don't think they... I don't think it's that since they ran from Dave the moment they saw them. Or it's only till a radius or something like something cloaks them. But if you get close enough, they become invisible. It would be a good defense mechanism of sorts. I, I think they need to be seen through water and that that doesn't work through mechanical uh, media. Uh, anyways, let's check here one more time. Anything to turn in? Um, let's turn... And let's wait with that until tomorrow, in case we want ag agar for food. We got a up few upgraded cards here. Painted comber. Cardinal fish. Okay. Let's see, anything to sell? Oh, right. Can't in the evening. Then... Yeah. Uh... Really, he can't sell at the evening. Oh wait, he, we want, he, he wanted us to call Bancho to do what to do with the, the thing. What is it, Dave? I, I was helping Duff and I defeated a giant squid. That's incredible. I couldn't bring the whole thing, so I cut off a bit of its tentacle. Is this edible, perhaps? Hmm, of course. The ammonium chloride that helps it float gives it an awful stench, however. And because it's very tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers anyway. Why don't we close up shop for the day and hold a party with the squids? Okay. I've been so busy since we opened that I haven't treated you to any proper food, despite your hard work. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Let me clean up a bit. Come to the sushi bar when you're ready. Dr. Bacon will be there as well, so I can tell him all about you know, tell him about the fish people I saw. Okay, so we get a day off. Can we still hire someone, Pete, perhaps? <laughs> Dave, you're a bit late. Everyone's been waiting for you. Mm. Wow, you finished all the cooking already? Mm. When did everyone arrive, though? Okay. A party with customers. There's been a lot of progress. Very good. Has there? Restaurants should push that cu put their customers first. Food, drinks, service, and customers are the basic foundations of a restaurant. In the past, there was only a rigorous chef and his cooking. Hmm. I was also here from the beginning. Yes, but you weren't very noticeable. Okay. Do you remember what I told you back then about the reviews in Cookstown? You said there w there wasn't any real mention of me. But now people do mention you, albeit rarely. They sing things like, he poured me hot green tea, he was working hard preparing the wasabi, he was friendly, he looked busy. Oh? The customers are recognizing your hard work. Well, that makes me feel good. Customers are honest and intuitive, more than uh, more so than you think. They know they know if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled, and they react accordingly. Hmm. That's why I find this moment hard to believe. To so think that obstinate Pancho is working with people and holding parties. <laughs> well, I think it's th thanks to you, Dave. Hmm. That makes me wonder what he was like in the past. Hmm. I can't divulge details about someone else's past. Hmm. But maybe someday, if the opportunity presents itself, I might be able to tell you. Okay. Yeah, he must have been a real hard ass back in the day then. Probably been harder on his luck to be forced to work with people. 
Dave, congratulations. Word of Bonjo Sushi is getting around now. Is getting ar now is now getting around. It looks to be in a very good mood. Look at this squid tentacle. It's the sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. I'll bet more people will flock here if such things are offered on the menu. Aren't we eating this because it's difficult to serve the customers, though? No. Yeah, you're right. What a pity. Everyone will want to try something that looks like this, regardless of the flavor. Mm. Regardless of the flavor, you say? There's no way Bonsha could stomach that. <laughs> Let's go with something else. Alright, about the depths. I have a feeling there must be things down there. Things that will make people jump out of their seats. <laughs> if Dr. Bacon's research is successful, this place will be famous and filled with people. Mm. Hmm, you're right. <laughs> when that happens, we'll make tons of money. <laughs> So keep at it, Dave. Let's get rich together. <laughs> yeah, Kirby just has only one thing on his mind, huh? Yeah, money and fame. Wait, that's true. Yeah, uh, uh, he <laughs> money because through fame he gets money. Mm. Uh, Doctor Bacon. Oh, Dave, what is it? I saw the sea people down below. You what? You really saw sea people and not dugongs? Uh, what did they look like? Were they dressed? Did they resemble humans? Mm. Um, their torsos looked like her own, but the sight of me scared them off into the depths. I couldn't get a good look. Uh. That's too bad. It could have been an amazing find. Uh. That means we might encounter them in the depths. That's where the single is strong the signal is strongest. Uh. Perhaps there's even a village. Mm. A village? Uh. Yes, they have artifacts, murals, a language. They are beings with a unique, unique civilization. It would not be surprising in the least for them to live together in a village of sorts. That would be quite a find indeed. What a an, ancient, <laughs> an ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed to us. Dave, you're my best hope. Keep up the good work. And Bond show last. <laughs> A giant squid tentacle? It really is an ingredient that diffi that's difficult to handle. <coughs> Suppressing the stench should allow me to reach its essence. <coughs> You're still studying the ingredients? <coughs> Good work today. Bring, ba bring back precious ingredients. <coughs> this is a difficult sort to prepare, but it's part of the fun of cooking. <coughs> so how does it taste? <coughs> the food's always been great, but today is even more... <coughs> spectacular. <coughs> Since there's uh, since there was a lot of it, I made many dishes, though we won't be able to offer these to customers. <coughs> there seems to be no end to the past of this chef. It's an unfortunate thing to have a path to pursue. <coughs> the same can be said of the study of ingredients. Dave, please keep persevering and one day we'll succeed. <coughs> Not sure what you mean, but sure, I'll be sure to bring back more fish. That is a true cook uh, mentality, I would say. Yeah, to always try and make something new, at least. And yeah, the cat is back. Okay. Oh, mm. that cat! I was supposed to inky? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Wait, can we hire anyone, or...? No, uh, we, we don't have access to the menus. Ah. Uh. Phew, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Rancho's food is so nice, I can understand the growing popularity of the restaurant. Or maybe it's because I caught the fish? Mm. In any case, there's been a lot of stuff going on. A giant squid, sea people... There's no end to the mysteries of the ocean, even if it's dangerous. Mm. I suppose I'll go deep. I'll go even deeper tomorrow. I wonder what I'll find. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I'll think about that tomorrow. I'm curious. What do you call a octopus? The bus in Dutch. Uh, it's actually very uh, similar. Octopus. It's almost the same written. It's just said different. We call them black fisk. It literally means ink fish. <laughs> okay. I always found that confusing. Time to toast with everyone and rest. I'm guessing this is the end of chapter one. Uh, and Yoshi has a cup of green tea. Oh, oh you fuck. Uh, okay. 
it looks like dude is going straight to uh, just outright yeah <laughs> terrorism all right good morning i must have drank too much yesterday i feel sick you did seem a bit excited <laughs> You don't get gatherings like that every day. That sort of occasion calls for joviality. Or it may be not twice being out on the water whilst you're drunk or hungover. You can't throw up here, doctor. Oof, I'm not the drinker I used to be. In any case, take the deep sea headlamp Duff gave you and try venturing down into the depths. It'll probably turn on automatically when you reach the right depth. And don't forget, you'll have to enhance your diving suit if you want to venture into the depths. No. Yeah, I'll have to enhance my equipment first, then... By the way, do you happen to have scuba... Work? Oh, come on. We're going to need to dive into that. Want to know something nasty? <laughs> what? Fish loves that. <laughs> because it's easy to eat. And yes, that was a grenade launcher that the ac asshole loaded. Oh no, he's doing something. My biggest fish I caught as a kid was the course I hurled over the boat. It was my first time on a boat. And it somehow attracted a big fish I caught. <laughs> okay, that works. Uh, uh yeah. I I get seasick on small boats, so yeah. That wasn't a small boat. Let's the, see. Hmm? I've been on the small boats before, later on, but... I only got seasick that I puked once, and it was my first time. Other times, just fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yoshi, over time, even the most unchanging of people will soften. Perhaps it's the company you keep. Oh, oh, we can like these. Okay, just... <laughs> just give everything a like. <laughs> okay. Now, where were we? There. Another one from her. Still doesn't greet customers, just prepares the food. Yeah, you can change people only so much. And, yeah, <laughs> Dr. Bacon is really... <laughs> Uh, drunk there. Oh, <laughs> Bustling. Dear. And again, he fails at the selfie. Even the cat is in shot. Yep. Cobra, cash, cash, really? <laughs> More customers every day. I'll be rich. That's not going to oh. look like good PR, guy. The score. I thought two times we spoke out that his eye was peeking over his closet, but no, that was just his score, his eyebrow. Yeah. You're not Let's an eyeball. See. We need to upgrade this one to go much deeper, but we want to get Raptor. Like, is he still available? I uh, hope he is. Let's see. We can't see that here, but I don't. I don't think it should change the applicants until we try another hiring session. Okay. For now, though. Yeah. We can ignore the main objective for the moment and just go collect stuff. I'm Hello. guessing we'll find more equipment there as well. And okay. pizza is done with work. Nope. Uh, hello. Uh, you again. Wait. So it was you. You're the one who's been harming the ocean. You even vomited, you disgusting creature. Wait, that wasn't me, it was... I have no time for your petty excuses. Now that you've been caught by John Watson of Sea Blue, the Guardians of the Sea, you won't be so leaving so easily. I'll turn you into fish fruits. Yeah, you're just a psychopath, aren't you? Uh, really? I think I'm empty. Uh, and they uh just killed a bunch of fish. Good job, dumbass. <laughs> Oh my Poseidon, this is all your fault. You did this to the precious sea. You're the one bringing high explosives here, fuckheads. You're the one shooting bombs. Oh, that's the stream timer, but we can finish off this dive first. 
And all I do is catch a few fish to keep the restaurant running. Mm. Why don't you look into the fish fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish, not individual divers like me? No answer to that. Enough blabbing. I'll shut that trap and that yapper of yours. Here goes. It's probably due to if he did attack the bigger ships, he would probably pin the bigger target on himself. So he is already infamous. See, can we use. Yeah, ow. But yeah, I think like he's just picking on the weak and the. And yeah, basically ones that are not doing the most of the harm. Give me that, and just get the wrong gun. Uh, I need an air canister quick. If, if I'd known this fuckhead was out here waiting for us, I would have gotten one. Yeah, this guy's a hypocrite and an idiot. Okay, now he's yeah. pissed. Oh, that last one didn't have a line. But that did tire him out. Okay, are you going to fuck off before I bring a shark here? <clears throat> How dare you fight back against me, John Watson, formerly of the Navy SEALs. If you're a Navy SEAL, then I'm a whale. Uh, uh, hello? That should serve as an adequate warning, so I'll back away for now to protect the environment, after he blows a hole into said environment. But I won't let you go unpunished if you persist in damaging the ocean. We're watching you. Fuck off. Stop with yourself. Let's see. And Pizza is going back to Doom Eternal. Pass has opened up in the direction of John Watson's escape. Uh, let's go that way to reach the signal. Now we can give it a look. I don't want to immediately end this diving session. Yeah, uh, I, I really don't like Watson here. Yeah. He's a hypocrite and a psychopath. Yeah, He's like and... a, a, probably a sellout as well. And. Maybe a coward since he goes after the wrong people. Those that are all, most unlikely to be able to defend themselves. Here we need some of you. There. Hmm. <laughs> I'll try not to spend too long down here, but I will catch a few fish and go look for that signal. Though I don't think we can dive deep enough for it yet. So, this is mostly going to be just collecting. Yep. <laughs> really? Been a bit since we've seen the clown hammer. Okay, use the clown hammer. Uh, uh. I would not be surprised at all if they put that in this game because of Barrow Trauma and it's, it's clowns. <laughs> Which are part joke and part OP depending on uh, <laughs> how things go. Let's see. Anything useful down here? Some shells to grab? An exit point for us, okay. Oop, oh, fossil. Or at least bones. Okay. New weapon, maybe? Hmm, I'll, I'll take that all the same, if you can get a good few fish. Let's see, I think it was ready reloading, then tired, since he did fire six shots. Now, I think he fired a bit more than six shots. One, two, come here you, yep, still got it, and there's the other one, there, and there, 
These are for one of the dishes that we have. But we haven't tried that one yet. But at least we can have a good amount of them for... Uh, okay, see you later, pizza. Is it pizza? Oh, we found the limestone. Pleasant slumber. Uh, he's going for... <laughs> He's going for uh, Doom Eternal first. Oh, right. Oh, oh I was about this. Quite a different time zoom from us. Let's see. <laughs> this is dumb little sounds. Let's see. This is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, just need to duke this thing for a second. Could have used the ammo there, but I will. Actually, uh... that, that's, that is a usual little trick to get a little bit of distance between you and something, since they try to run away if you nab them or spear them. See that? No, we gave up. Let's see. We can go to 150 meters. Pearl? No pearl. Oh well. <laughs> Stupid little squeak. Okay. We can go a little bit in here. Let's see. Useful. Uh, what are you? If I can even grab you. Okay, we can't go in deep enough to get much exploration done. But we at least got a peek. Yeah. And our target is about 50 meter below. So, yeah. Oh. Okay, um, let's get around them. Yeah, I think we can call it here, so we don't go over too long. Yep. We can add the barracuda yep. to the menu as the yep. punishment. <laughs> yep. Okay. Actually, let's try and get this thing. Uh -oh. okay. okay, this thing is pretty easy to dodge like that. Just hope we think we need a little bit of distance to be able to get that. Yep. Okay, let's see what you've got. Long no saw shark. Okay, so it, it is a shark. All right. Let's grab that. And get out of here. Hmm. Okay, good amount of progress. <clears throat> Um, yeah, next time we'll get to the second half of this day and get the Hiring Raptor and maybe the other one as well. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, hello again, Ash. Oh, Sato. Here we. You seem energetic today. I saw a boss card acquisition notification pop up on your marine, marine card account. <laughs> it's this giant squid boss card. Let's see. An abnormally large squid. Despite its soft body, it has sharp teeth. It reeks of ammonium chloride, making it difficult to eat. Hmm. How did you get this? It's such a rare card. Hmm. Um, well, I was just on my way to pick up the delivery, and as chance would have it... Okay, I don't have a clue what that means, but in any case, you've made amazing progress. <laughs> Try collecting all the rare boss cards. Something good's sure to happen. Nope. I just realized. Hmm? He, yeah, right now he kind of looks like a 
dog. <laughs> it's a darker area around his mouth. Like, it makes him look like a pug. Yeah. It's... I wonder if that was accidental. Oh, and if you venture to new regions, to, for example, the depths, the automatic card, uh, marine card AI system will unlock a new card pack. Don't forget to collect fish in the new regions as well. Choo-choo. Goodbye then. Choo-choo. <laughs> Okay, what is, what is with the paddle boat? <laughs> Let's see. Entering a new region will open up a new card pack list. Use the green card app to check on the new fish. Okay. But for now, though, we go to settings. And yeah, I'll see if there is a way to get the screen, share off, the screen shake off. And another save. And there we go. No, pardon. Uh, yeah, just my stomach pardon. seems to be upset somewhat today. <clears throat> oh, well. And yeah, that'll be that. So let's head on over here and let's go look for someone to raid. There. All right. Uh, yeah, once we hire Raptor, I think the serving part will be more than covered. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Uh, let's change the screen share. And... No, not that. There. Uh, switch. There. Okay, let's see who are online. A good amount of people. A lot of people. Uh, Pika Girl is online with Team Fight Tactics. Reef to Leaf with Bagaman Battle Network. Which two? Okay. Azra Arcane with Diablo 4. Um, Jimmy Maginger is doing software stuff. OS, uh, Shrimp OS is streaming Barkley, Shut Up and Jam, Gaiden. Can't say I've heard that. Yep, I have this. Just, I have the browser muted, so let's take a peek. Uh, no, they're still in their pre stream. Let's see. Uh, I'm Nice is still streaming uh, Wild Hearts. Lazarus is back online with Castlevania Symphony of the Night. WBPL is streaming Dark Clouds. Redacted Cat is still playing Northern Journey. Can we get any more info on that? Uh, yeah, I, I, I just have no idea about this game. Maybe some sort of survival thing or exploration. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I'm thinking Azra. It's been a bit since we've seen her. Or do you want to go raid anyone else? You can be raiding Azra. Okay, so let's copy the name. And <laughs> they're still using that new model. <laughs> okay. Yep, and it just changed back. <laughs> okay. Well then, slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Marco. And I see you lurking there, Sensei. <laughs> and thank you as always, Rick here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, Tuesday we will be returning to Doom Eternal. It's been a lot of fun. And yeah, I, I think we can confirm now that it's not just the... It not, it's not... It's not just my computer and mic that are somehow messing up with games and uh, with the microphone and such. It seems that ga whatever game we're playing does have an effect on it, which might become yeah. an issue on some games later. Indeed. Yeah, Probably since... games that are a bit poorly optimized in sound department. Maybe, because we, we had it tw earlier today, we had it happen twice during the long journey home, during the showcase. Yeah, yeah that was but ridiculous how it quickly happened between each one. Like, well, it took a few seconds almost. Yeah, um, about a minute. I have noted the times though, so I will be editing that out. But for now, let's start that raid. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe for one. And watch out for uh, sharks. And uh, some sharks. <laughs> underwater assholes with grenade launchers. Oh, that too. And giant squids.